Hi, it's Sadie with Sage, and I wanted to clarify exactly what meditation is for you all. So I have been seeing um, so many really nice lists of helpful things that you can do um, to support your health, both physically and um, emotionally and mentally. And inevitably, on these very helpful lists, it includes meditation. Um, but we don't often know what that means. And meditation is something that we actually have to learn and practice just even before we can actually do it. It's sort of like riding a bike. You have to figure out how it works and stabilize it. And then when you're familiar with it, you know, we're no longer um, sort of thrown off by hills and curves. It's just part of the ride. Um, but I noticed on a, a very reputable medical um, organization's website, they were talking about stress, stress reduction. And they said that meditation was about distracting you from your problems, in essence. And that um, just made me pause because as somebody who has taught and practiced meditation for over 20 years, that's really off the mark. So I wanted to come and clarify what is meditation, what's the goal of meditation, and what is not. So I'm not gonna teach you how to meditate right now, um, but I think it's really important to start learning how to meditate with a good view of of what it is that you're doing, what your goals are. So meditation in essence is practicing being present with what is arising for you in your life. And there is so much to talk about and learn in that process. And it's really something that you do need to um, understand in more than like a sound bite or, um, you know, a quick quick introduction. It's something that you should engage with properly and then practice. And so um, it's not something that you're just going to get immediately. It's also not something that somebody else can talk to you about and you can deeply understand. You have to actually get on the bike and ride it and have the experience yourself, um, not only to know what it is, but also to get the benefit. So um, meditation is a practice in kindness, it's a practice in gentleness towards yourself, and it's a practice in really understanding um, the process of how we relate emotionally and mentally to our situation. So there's so much benefit to be gleaned from meditating. What meditation is not is a distraction. It is certainly not a way to get away from what's happening in our lives. We have innumerable ways to, to distract ourselves, right? Just entertainment, work, you know, if, if we are bored and that's an uncomfortable feeling, we have immediate access to all kinds of, of things these days. Um, it's also not uh, just about being peaceful or at bliss, which is just another way of being distracted, right? Of saying, okay, well, I wanna get out of here and go, um, go to my happy place. And that is also not the goal of meditation. We may notice that we um, uh, are more appreciative of the times when we are at peace. We might even encounter them more often. Um, but it's not about creating another now. It's not about um, trying to avoid the present moment because of course that's impossible. We cannot have another now, right? So if we are um, chasing something that we want or running away from something that we don't, we are not engaging with the present moment. And so meditation practice supports us learning about how to, to be at peace with what is happening. And again, being at peace does not necessarily mean we love or want to be experiencing what we're experiencing. But again, that just is a given. That's the reality of our situation. And then the last um, thing that I wanted to mention, which I think is a misconception, is that you can do meditation wrong or that something is inherently wrong with you, which is quite the opposite. Meditation is a practice in connecting with our humanness 
and our inherent gifts um, of gentleness and kindness and um, our capacity for strength and courage. And um, so as things arise and you notice things, um, the touchstone is to always come back to two things. One is the discipline of actually sticking with it and the other is gentleness. And that's above all else, the key to meditation practice is that we're actually practicing being kind and gentle and befriending ourselves. And in that way, we can eventually turn the flower outward and support each other in kindness as well. So I hope that this has been helpful and, um, and be well. <laughs>